Americans are getting extremely angry and frustrated with the current economic conditions. Previous generations promised them that if they worked hard, made good choices, stayed in line, and got good grades, they'd be able to live the American dream. Millennials and Generation Zs were told not to worry about accumulating massive levels of student loan debt because there would be good jobs waiting for them at the end of the rainbow once they graduated. Well, that turned out to be a lie. Right now, nearly half of them are living paycheck to paycheck and having trouble covering basic expenses. In fact, today we have the highest share of adults living with their parents since the Great Depression, and younger generations will continue to fall behind financially because they can't afford to buy a home and start building wealth on their own. When we break U.S. adults down by age, we can see that a long-term economic decline has hit the young the hardest by far. And yet, somehow we expect them to bear the burden of providing Medicare, Social Security, and other social welfare benefits to the rest of the population as they get older. No wonder this group is feeling so helpless about their future. For that reason, Today, we have gathered statistics that reveal millennials and Generation Zs are facing far worse economic conditions than previous generations. But before checking this list, please give us your support by leaving a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel so you don't miss our upcoming lists. Without further ado, here are 20 Reasons Why Young Americans Are Screaming Mad About Our Unfair Economy 1. Young Americans are behind previous generations when it comes to building up their retirement savings. According to the latest Fidelity Retirement Savings Assessment Study, Millennials' retirement savings rates dropped to 7.5% in 2022, compared to an average of 9.7% amongst previous generations. Researcher Alicia Manel notes that today, young Americans have a lower net wealth-to-income ratio than their parents did when they had the same age. The study highlights that since so many millennials graduated from college during the dot-com bubble in the early 2000s and the Great Recession in 2008, they had to face worse labor market outcomes than previous generations. Two, the study also found that 62% of millennials owe more in debt than they have in a personal savings account. Only about 21% have more money in their savings account than they owe in debt. Three in 10 millennials have less than $1,000 in their personal savings. And only 1% have over $100,000 saved. In contrast, nearly one quarter or 24% have no personal savings whatsoever. 3. U.S. Census Bureau data shows that 40% of millennial households between the ages of 28 and 38 had student loan debt that amounted to more than 40% of their income. On average, millennials carry a balance of $38,877 per borrower. Overall, the group holds approximately 31.94% of the total student loan debt load. Four, in fact, young Americans have the fastest growing debt load. Approximately three out of every four millennials in the U.S. have some form of debt, according to an NBC News Gen Forward survey released in June, and they're putting off major milestones because they can't pay up. A quarter of millennials are over $30,000 in debt, and around 11% are over $100,000 in debt. Only 22% of millennials are debt-free. Five, credit card debt weighs down more millennials' finances than student loans. A new report from Financial Services Online Marketplace, CompareCards.com revealed. Today, two in three millennials have credit card debt. 
more than double the number who have student loans. The report also highlighted that just 13% of millennial credit card holders are completely debt-free. Even more worryingly, nearly one in four millennial card holders expect to die in debt, including those in wealthier households. Six, with so many financial setbacks, it's no wonder why roughly half or about 45% of young Americans agree that they feel like they will never have the things they want in life because of their money situation. According to Morning Consult's Quarter 1 2022 State of Consumer Banking and Payments report that was released last month. On top of that, 38% of millennials frequently feel like they're behind on their finances, which is about 13 percentage points higher than the average U.S. adult who feels similarly. 7. Among younger generations, Financial health remains persistently below the national average, Morning Consult's research exposed. Millennials' average financial well-being score, developed by the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau to track financial security and freedom of choice across different population segments over time, stands at 47.05, compared to 50.81 out of 100 for the average American. Even though it may not look like a dramatic difference, that's quite a significant gap when you consider that a one-point gain in a consumer's month-over-month -month financial well-being score basically amounts to about a $15,000 boost in household earnings or a 20-point credit score improvement. 8. Young adults are also lagging behind previous generations when it comes to home ownership. Baby boomers, on average, bought their first home at age 25. Millennials, by comparison, are projected to buy their first home at age 35. From 2005 to 2014, home ownership among millennials dropped by 9 percentage points. Right now, at age 30, 42% of millennials own homes, compared to 60.1% of Generation X's and 78.8% of boomers when they were the same age, Census Bureau data shows. 9. Consequently, the share of millennials that expect to rent forever has nearly doubled in two years to over one-fifth. According to an annual report from Apartment List, the share of millennial renters saying they will never own a home has increased to 22% up from 12.3% in 2021 and 10.7% in 2020. 10. All of this is impacting their ability to start a family. Today, young Americans are starting families later than their counterparts in prior generations, with only 46% of millennials married, compared to 83% of adults who were married in 1970. If current patterns continue, an estimated one in four of today's young adults will never have married by the time they reach their mid-40s to early 50s, and that is a record high share. 11. The average net worth of millennials is roughly $18,000, eight times less than boomers' net worth when they were the same age. Although older millennials are doing better with an average net worth of $51,000, they're also approaching their 40s. Meanwhile, younger millennials typically have a net worth of negative $6,000. 12. A new survey conducted by the college investor exposed that 64% of millennials said they were still receiving financial support from their parents, with 54% saying the value was between $500 to $1,000 each month, and 74% saying it enables them to make ends meet each month. 13. Moreover, an analysis released by the Pew Research Center uncovered that 52% of young adults are still living with their parents. That is the highest rate ever 
surpassing the previous record hit in 1940 in the aftermath of the Great Depression when 48% of young adults lived with their parents. 14. Roughly 46% of Generation Zs and 47% of Millennials are living paycheck to paycheck and are regularly worried about their financial futures. A Deloitte poll conducted between November 2021 and January 2022 has shown. 15. The DA Davidson survey found that 78% of Millennials and 74% of Generation Z report that inflation has impacted their ability to afford everyday essentials. For comparison, 68% of Generation X, 57% of baby boomers, and 43% of the silent generation said that inflation has significantly or moderately impacted their ability to afford basic expenses. 16. The young are also experiencing more financial stress, worry, anxiety, or emotional tension related to money, debt, and upcoming or current expenses than other groups. Around 69% of young adults report feeling increased levels of financial stress, more than retirees at 48%, the silent generation 35%, baby boomers 55%, and Generation X 58%. As the cost of living continues to soar, more young Americans are canceling vacation plans. Overall, 59% of Millennials and 56% of Generation Z have canceled a vacation or scaled back vacation plans this year due to rising prices, compared to 50% of Generation X, 42% of Baby Boomers, and 32% of the Silent Generation. I was already spending every dollar I made before inflation, so now I'm having to cut bigger costs like travel because it's too expensive," revealed Henry, a 25-year-old Manhattan resident. 18. In the coming years, much of the burden of paying for Medicare for our aging population will fall on millennials. It is projected that the number of Americans on Medicare will grow from 64.7 million in 2022 to 73.2 million in 2025. What's more, it's been estimated that Medicare is facing unfunded liabilities of more than $38 trillion over the next 60 years. That comes to approximately $328,404 for every single household in the United States. 19. At the same time, much of the burden of paying for Social Security will fall on millennials as well. In 2022, there are more than 69 million Americans collecting Social Security benefits. By 2035, that number is projected to soar to an astounding 91 million. While there were 42 workers for every retiree receiving Social Security benefits in 1945, today that number has fallen to 2.5 workers. And if you exclude all government workers, that leaves only 1.6 private sector workers for every retiree receiving Social Security benefits. And 20. Our national debt is currently sitting at a grand total of $30.4 trillion right now. By 2032, the gross federal debt of the United States is projected to reach more than $45 trillion. And millennials are expected to service that debt for the rest of their lives. Some economists argue that the young are part of an entitled generation that is flat broke because they are lazy and irresponsible, but that is far from the truth. Today, they work much longer hours and earn significantly less than previous generations when adjusting to inflation. Young Americans have tried to do everything right and are still struggling to get by. 
Many of them end up blaming themselves. Many of them think that they're not talented enough or they didn't work hard enough or that they don't have the right connections. But the reality is that decades of inflationary policies are starting to catch up with us in a major way, and they just happen to be caught in the crossfire. Their future looks quite gloomy, and as more of them start realizing that the system is broken, they are likely to become more and more angry.